Well, hello there, Groovy Hoop Group family. I'm Eve with the Baby's Booty. And tonight, we going retro, man. I hope y'all doing good tonight. I hope y'all doing good tonight. If you doing good tonight, go ahead and drop some purple hearts. Well, you might can't get to the purple heart. Bop, bop some hearts in the chat. Just some hearts. It don't matter. How's everybody doing this evening? I know it's a Super Bowl party tonight, but guess what? Tonight is going to be a party over here in the his house, man. Yas, honey. Yas. So, y'all, a heifer been feeling nostalgic, okay? So, tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to do a retro t-shirt, all right? And I saw a part of a design not a not a design but like a part of an image and i was like it spoke to my soul y'all you know and a heifer is knocking on 50 i ain't quite there yet but i'm close enough and when i saw this design i was like oh that's speaking to my soul because i love the 70s i'm a 70s baby so i made a 70s baby design okay and we're going to bling that tonight. Now, it is on the website, but y'all know how helpful it is. I was rushing to finish up one part of it. It was to the point where I had to call in the troops. Well, one troop, the troop leader. And ask her to help me get this darn thing squared away so that I could finish the design in time, y'all. Because something wasn't acting right. It wasn't acting right. And you know the helpful came through with the right resolution okay and help the heifer get it done so it's done but there's a couple of things i gotta tweak like i don't know how many rhinestones is in every color okay and it's not optimized for cricket design space yet okay so that's why for right now if you want to get the design it's on the website but it's only there for like three bucks okay it's going to go up once I get it optimized and get the actual correct design. Oh, you know what? That ain't going to work. I got to fix it. See? Y'all see what I'm saying? It's hard out here in the streets for a pimp. It really is. And I'm just trying to tell you, when I try to do stuff, I be meaning well. And then when I get in there to get it done, and then it just be like, you know what? It ain't right. So you just going to have to do stuff all over again. So give me a sec. Let me go in here. I got to put the dang design in there because the wrong design is on here. But other than that, how y'all been doing this evening? I hope y'all are good. Can you tell I've been having fun lately? All right. Let me see downloads and boom. Okay. So there we go. Now the right file is on the website. I don't want you to buy the wrong file. Okay. So that's done. Let's save that. But at any rate, so we're going to do that tonight. We don't actually take a t-shirt and make it 70s worthy, okay, with this design. And I'm going to show y'all the design here in a minute. But I definitely want to go back and, hey, Dempsey Boo, I definitely want to go back and ring the bell for Zelda Brown, who's a new member. Right on, baby. Holla. Yes, honey. Right on. Right on. All right. So let's see. I'm going to go in and say hi to some folks who come to hang out with us tonight because without you all, I wouldn't even have a channel. I'm just saying. All right. So we got Sherelle Green in the house. Karen Murray's in the house. Gail Designs popped in here too. Hey, honey bunny. Welcome. And thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Then we also have Sharon Davis. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We really appreciate it. Jesse Gibson in the house. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. We also have Jackie Wallace. Hey, Jackie Wallace. And welcome. Thank you for hanging out with a heifer tonight. Um, Why am I blurring? Oh, hello, precious pieces. Hey, honey bunny. Welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We appreciate you being here. Where did Mr. McQuackens go? He just like dipped. I guess his internet. Now, y'all, look. Oh, that's time out. I will do listen, Linda, but this ain't got nothing to do with me and it really ain't got nothing to do with y'all. The heifer's internet been acting real stank, okay? To the point where I had to change some stuff. And I do need a new modem, but I ain't got that yet. So, um, if I go out, <laughs> I will be back. Matter of fact, I need to log my phone in. And in that way, I got back up in case this desktop mess goes south, okay? But I'll do that here in a sec. Hi, Sheila Cushionberry. Welcome. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Who Group member as well. 
Carol Coleman, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. We appreciate it. We also have Sherelle Green. Let's see, did you say? I'm saying hey anyway. Hey, Sherelle Green, welcome. Then we also have Mama Vi in the house. Hey, Mama Vi, welcome. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Who Group member. We appreciate it. We got Raquel Maxwell. Girl, that name is fire. Right on. Kelly Wyant, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. We also have So Crafty. Hey, honey bunny, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hope Group member. We also have in the house, I'm scrolling, Zelda Brown, which we rang the bell for you. Welcome. You're a member now. And thank you. We appreciate it. Monica H, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hope Group member. We appreciate it. Then we also have Spilling the Diversity. Welcome. And thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hope Group member as well. And I'm gonna scroll down. I'm sorry. I know y'all Barb Ramirez. Welcome from Southeast Texas. Haven't seen your name before. So I'm saying hey, hey time you honey bunny. And we also got swoop like me. I love the name. Uh, welcome. Haven't seen your name either. Sylvia Dinkins, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hope group member. Will Let is here. Denise Thomas is here. Y'all, Karen D is here. Welcome, Karen D. And thank you for being a YouTube Hope group member. Beth Living Good, welcome. Nini's here. Donzel, Gina Spears. Oh my gosh. I love it when a family comes together. I love it. So I'll tell y'all something funny. Funny story. Hey, poor G. Welcome. Thank you for being YouTube who remember. And Miss Parker. Hi, Mrs. Parker. Creator Art by LT and Laura E. I'm scrolling. I got to scroll, y'all. I got to scroll. Hard on the street. Yeah, hard on the streets for this film. Um, I got a funny story for y'all. So my mom called. Uh, they called Thursday. I think they were gonna come Thursday, and they had some tech stuff that they were gonna file, and then she was like. Uh, girl, these bones do hurt. You tripping. Um, and they was like, we need to scan in our documents and blah, blah. And I was like, okay, fine. My printer, even though the printer part is broke, the scanner still works. So I was like, you can come over and you can scan. scan. And they couldn't make it Thursday. So she called the day. And I was like, this is perfect. I'm so happy you coming because mama, <laughs> mama, I can't style of pro. I don't know how to do it. It ain't working. And so my mama was like, baby, I got you, fam. And so I wish I could find that picture of my mama with her fro, y'all, because her fro was like bigger than this. No lie. No cap. However you say it, it was bigger than this. And it was perfect than this. My mama rocked a fro like nobody's business. And so I knew who I needed to go to. And mama came and she was like, swoop, 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 pat, boop, 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 boop. And what? Oh, yeah, my looks real good right now. Holler. So yeah, I had to, I had to rock it. I had to rock it for y'all. Okay. So, hey, craftable things, honey bunny. So we are going to get into this. But first, let's see. Rhinestone Mechanic is here. So I always want to show you guys Rhinestone Mechanics design designs that he has for us. And he has some really groovy Rhinestone designs for us this week. Also some super cute designs, especially there's one in the uh, mystery box. I got to have it. Okay. Now let's share a screen so that you can see it. And then that way, um, you know what you're getting into. Nope. Wrong thing. I don't want to change cameras yet. So share screen. Mm -mm -mm. here is rhinestone mechanic okay and here are the designs for this week now he said something about a movie coming out with bob marley i didn't know nothing about it so i'm not a movie person my bad but we got the portrait here look at the gnome patrice i mean a gnome with dreadlocks fam patrice i'm gonna be sad if i don't see you with a shirt, with a known with dreadlocks. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Beautiful lion. Then we got musical notes. I mean, it's just this gorgeous designs. And as you see, these designs for right now. Oh, that's so pretty. These designs are five dollars right now. Okay, but this price will only last for 24 hours. All right. This mystery box is two dollars. Super cute design is in there. I already saw a sneak peek. There's two designs in there, I think. Pretty sure it's two. But anyway, it's a mystery box. It's two bucks. So that's a dollar design. Come on, fam. You can't get no better than that. Then you have these that are five. Now, the $2 box never goes off sale. It's always going to be $2. 
But these other designs, after 24 hours, they will not be $5 anymore. So if you see any one of these designs that you absolutely like, like not a morning person, which I need this on a pajama, pajama top ASAP. I'm just saying, because if you're going to come wake me up for whatever reason, I'm going to need you to see the shirt first. Because I don't want no questions when I cop attitude. I'm just saying I sleep till 10. Don't, don't play me. Not a morning person. So I need this right here as well. So I need to get this because it's five bucks right now. Otherwise, I got to pay $9.99. Not willing to pay that. Okay. Even though it's worth it. Don't get it twisted. Don't think I'm discounting old buddy's designs because his designs is very well worth it. But right now he's offering them to you for five bucks. So go grab them. Absolutely gorgeous designs. Okay. Now I'm going to show you my design. This is my design that I've been working on. And as you see, it says 70s baby. Um, I was born in 76 for those who did not know. So the world was blessed. Anyway, but then I came on the scene. <laughs> I'm just saying. So anyways, I love the 70s. Everything about it. I'm a groovy baby. All that jazz. So I've already cut it out. It's already over there on the table. We're going to bling the shirt. And then we are going to retro the shirt. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this started. Hey, Candice. Thank you much. Thank you much. Let's stop sharing. So definitely go over there. Like I said, those designs are only good for those designs price right now. That $5 is only good for 24 hours, okay? So let us switch cameras and we'll go over to the table, the cutting table, and boom. I already got my shirt over there. I already got my design cut out. Let me grab my microphone because I'm bad about leaving it. Let me grab my agua because I'll help you see all this talking. And we are going to bling in this shirt, okay? So all I have is a, um, this is Bella Canvas. This is a Bella Canvas shirt. And of course, it's an extra large. I thought about making another one, but then I was like, you know, unless there's somebody else out there that wants a 70s baby shirt, I, you know, I mean, we might can. We'll see how this shirt goes first. And then we'll go from there. So here is the shirt that I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bling the 70s design on the shirt. Now, I'm going to bling it a little bit high on this shirt. Because what we're also going to do is we are going to alter this shirt so that it's 70s worthy. Okay. So just want to let y'all know that. We're going to set that off to the side. And here are um, our templates. Here's our template. Now, I forgot to do something, y'all, and I apologize, and I'm going to do it before the end of the show, but I also asked the question in the chat to those who um, store, how do they store their rhinestones, okay? Because we see how we've seen, for those who have seen how Angel B stores hers with the risers on the back in her, um, in her bookcase thing which looks super cute, right? And so I was just curious. We've seen several folks throughout the few months or whatever, but I also wanted to share that with you all because sometimes it does help to see how other people store their bling to give you some good ideas. And I thought about it because Ahefa has been redoing her studio. Like I've torn my studio completely, completely apart, y'all. It's like really sad how jacked up my studio is. And so I think this was supposed to be one of the other colors. I'm not sure. It don't matter. Um, And so I was like, you know what? I really wish I had more inspiration on how to store certain things. Like I have my rhinestones already stored. I'm not worried about the rhinestones, but like my paper, I wish I had a better idea for storing paper. Um, I wish I had a better idea for storing my vinyl um because i just i don't know i don't i don't like some of the options that i've already seen and i wanted you know something a little bit different -er. and just really i haven't found what touches my soul yet so that being the case i was like you know what i wonder how many other people would appreciate some inspiration and so I will be um, going on to Facebook, going to that post and showing you guys in our Facebook group what other people came up with 
for a story in rhinestone design because this shirt hopefully because it's already cut out already got the shirt heat press ain't on but it's on now and so the shirt hopefully won't take very long to get it done and then we will um look at the storage options while we feeling really groovy all right so what i have chosen with those lines in the back I don't know what it was about the design and the and those lines going, girl. That thing just I was like, ooh, I have got to have that on a shirt. And so we did. All right. So this one, this one, I think this one was gonna be green. Not a hundred percent sure. I should have turned it over and looked at it. But at any rate, hopefully you guys are doing great tonight. What all else? All right, well, actually, first before I say what all else, how many of you would have would appreciate seeing some more inspiration on storage and how you're storing your crafting because i'm telling y'all it's just it's hurting my feelings when i go through this stuff and i'm like oh geez louise why do i have so so you know i want to ask myself do i really need a hundred zippers but then at the end of the day if somebody else was to ask me, do I really need a hundred zippers? I'm I'm gonna fight them. I'm just saying. It's like, you know, we're gonna we gonna knuckle up because who are you to ask me how many zippers I need? Because I got them, so apparently I needed them, right? So for you in your craft space, would you appreciate some inspiration on ideas? Like, not everybody can swing a dream box. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, even though they like they gave away a dream box in the uh, crafting for profit camp, which I thought was super cool. Dream box was one of the um, folks in there. And that was super neat. But not everybody can swing it. You know, I didn't I, I thought about it and I was like, "Ooh, you know what? I need that money for um some other stuff like. A bigger sublimation printer or maybe a bigger heat press me and the mister been talking about that but dream box i made a vinyl album record holder extra long which works great for templates on the mat i eve sales i can easily flip to find the template i need quickly with added tab okay Wait a, minute. a vinyl album record holder how in the world did you make a vinyl. Am I understanding you correct? Like the old record players that I grew up with, me, me. Oh, you can't see because of one. that I grew up with. Because 70s baby, right? I, you got to be talking about the same record. I'm talking about records. I would love to see that. You don't have room for a dream box. You know what, Beth? That was the other thing, too. I'm not going to lie. I really don't have room for a dream box. Not in here. It, I mean, room where? Houseway. Where it's going to fit? I don't, I don't know how it's going to fit because uh, I barely fit in here with all my stuff. So I know. Trying to throw a dream box in here is like unnecessary. Kitty and doggy, you say you want that hair curl. I loved it. Let me cut this because this is just too big. You don't want to have your transfer tape to be too big because then it sticks to everything it ain't supposed to stick to. Um, I'm gonna have to scroll back up. You know what? I did not bring my, my track ball so that I could scroll back up, Mr. McQuacken. Don't be mad at me. Hold on. Drop that down. I'm a little bit off right there, but it'll be all right. I think I mixed up my colors, but it's going to be okay. Because the colors still, all of them still go with that 70s vibe. So I think it'll be all right. I'm going to have to turn this over and see. Yep, I did. Because... Yeah, no, that was, I did right. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's that. And then, okay, so I need orange. I need orange to go right there. 
bear. Do you know when the on purpose? It will be back, Kelly, in March. Unfortunately. It'll probably be March. Hey, Karen Poe, you made it. Welcome. I'm scrolling back up to make sure I'm not missing what Mr. McQuacken started. Oh, you know what? I can just do this right here. I keep forgetting I could do that. TV Bethea says, my son is a 70s baby. You a baby. <laughs> Girl. Um, Purple Passion, very groovy. Thank you. Disco Eve. Yes, ma'am. Oh, cool. Anita. It arrived in the UK. That's what's up. Congratulations. I'm glad you got it. Hey, Stacy. I want to be. How do you make basic name and silhouette? I can't find it. What? I want a girl. <laughs> yes, honey. There are definitely, you see this person right here? Craftable things. Look up her YouTube channel. She has tons of videos on making things in silhouette, especially for rhinestone designs. Because I promise you, this word baby right here would not have made it if it hadn't been for her. Because I was about ready to scrap the whole project. Hey, Angel B, honey bunny. So I want to be definitely check out craftable things, okay? But she does classes on teaching people how to make rhinestone designs. And if it not been for her, I would not be making rhinestone designs to this day. I kid you not. Because I had swore a long six six years ago, five, six years ago, that I would not be making rhinestone designs. Because I said it was too tedious. I didn't want to do it. Ain't nobody got time to be putting little dots all over the place, blah, 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 blah. And what is the hell for doing right now? Well, I'm blinging a design that I made, but I'm just saying, I do designs now. Okay. So, yes, check her out. She teaches very well. Absolutely love it. And, and as a bonus, even if you don't want to make a rhinestone design yourself, if you feel like it's too tedious, like I did it once upon a time, um, then you can check out Rhinestone Mechanic's website. And at times he does have openings for making custom designs. So there's also that. Hey, Delonda Honey Bunny. I made, okay, let's see. Let me scroll down because he's still starring stuff. Would love to know how to store already prepped Rhinestone templates. I ruin them every time. Oh, no. Yeah, so for me, if I can, what did I do with them? I got to find my books. Like I said, my whole studio is turned all the way upside down. I kid you not. So if I can remember where I put them, I'll bring them out and show them. But I found some art um, books that are really big and you slide them in like the old school. Um, I don't even know how to, uh, notebooks, but that's not what they're called. Um, let's see. Did I do this right? Am I missing a color? I think I'm missing a color, y'all. Okay, so let me look at my template again. It was orange, dark orange, yellow, and green. And that's the green. So let's do yellow right here. And then in the middle, I'm going to do... What am I going to do in the middle? Hold on. Nope, my colors are wrong. One, two, three, four, five colors. And I only have four up here. That's what's wrong. So there's red, there's orange, the other orange, yellow, and green. Okay. I think I know what color I'm going to do. I think I know what color I'm going to do. All right. Hopefully this will work out. I should have chosen my colors ahead of time, but I was too busy trying to be cute. My bad. Um, have my son build me some boxes out of the cabinets from Home Depot. And I built out the closet in my craft room and made shelves in there. That was nice. That was cool. Making with Maryland saw something talking about campers sleeping by just bare saw tacos, right? And they are. Say it all the time. And who wants to be a bear soft taco? I do not wish to be a bear soft taco. Just saying. All right, you guys. So I'm going to have to reach under my 
rhinestone section and get me a um i think i'm gonna do coffee i thought about topaz but i think i'm gonna do coffee because i'm already doing arm for the number for the number the 70s numbers i'm already doing arm for that and I wanted to do this in A, B. So at some point, I'm probably going to redo this whole thing, make me another shirt, and do A, B colors, like citrine A, B. Um, gold, orange A, B. All that, that whole... Whoops. Flock dot. So at some point, I'm going to do that. I'm probably not going to do that tonight because I want to show you guys what people. So if you are in here and you did not see my Facebook post, I'm glad I thought of that. Um, and you didn't see my Facebook post earlier today where I asked people, you know, to show their bling storage and how they store their bling. Um, post a picture if they wanted to and it'll be shown tonight. Then you can go ahead and put it on there now. Um, because I'm not going to do that until I'm done with this shirt. So you got time to pop over there and do that if you want to share. How about it? How you like them apples? All right. Mm -mm. All right. I'm going to have to go back to the regular chat here in a moment. I don't see anything else marked. I'm scrolling. You haven't been on Facebook for four days. I'm not mad, Jesse. We all need a Facebook. I had a crazy weekend, so I really wasn't like on there like that at all. Um, so you know, I get it. It don't bother me for folks to take a break. Why is my phone hollering? All right. I don't normally like to do used. I'm going to do this. All right. Cowboys girl Hilda was raised two hours from San Fran. Holler. Oh, yeah, I talk about the game. I don't even know what the score is. Are they even playing yet? Is the game over with? I don't even know. They could have done one and got home and ended, and I wouldn't know nothing about it. I ain't watching none of it. Oh, nice, Emily Graham. She said, with the help of her husband, she made her first rhinestone template with ombre. Holler. Good job, hubby. We appreciate it when the men folks help out. They step in and be like, look, let me help you with this. And it's like, oh. And you melt. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Game still going third quarter. Okay. Because otherwise I wouldn't know. All right. That's that. That's that. Use that color. That color. Now I'm going to get coffee. And we're going to do this part. And then we're going to do the 70s. Like I said, this is going to be in arm. And the word baby I'm going to do in crystal AB. I'm fighting myself with doing crystal AB. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to wind up doing. But. Y'all know how that goes. Okay, so there's citrine. Here is coffee right here. All right. Took a break from Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram for the month of February, but you didn't give up YouTube. Okay, that was nice. I understand. I have a, a friend of ours who she told me she was giving up Facebook for a little bit just to recalibrate and you know refocus and whatnot and I'm just, girl social media can be a whole fool if you ain't careful but because I use it for business purposes and keeping up with the group I try not to be gone so to speak but there are times where I don't get to get on there like, I'll put a post up and ask people for stuff and be like, okay, I'm going to go back and check it in about an hour and see what people say. Child, then it'd be late in the middle of the night. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I didn't check. Now I got to go check. In. That's how that goes. Not every time, but a lot of the time. 
That's why I was looking for uh, moderators. I've already um, had a couple of people reach out about it. And I will be in touch with them because it's going to be set up where we have a regular communication to make sure all things proceed as they're supposed to. And folks don't get kicked out for random reasons and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. All right. Hello. There's that. Okay, so that's coffee. Man, this is blending super quick. I, it's just 9 30. I am so proud of myself. Um, where can that design be purchased? That design can be purchased on hotfixfix.store. However, I caution you on purchase. Well, I mean, you can purchase it now if you have, like, if you use, um, What's the name of this thing right here? Design Space Silhouette. Silhouette. If you use the Silhouette software, Silhouette Business Edition, you can download it. If you use Leonardo um, Design website, you can purchase it and be able to use it. But if you're Cricut, then you're probably going to have a bit of a time because it's a, it's not a small file, but it's not a super big file. And I don't have it optimized. Whoops. I don't have it optimized for Cricut yet. So I should have it optimized probably by tomorrow because I usually be saying, oh, I'll get it done tonight. Mm -mm. Nope, not saying that. I am not setting myself up for that okie doke. Because it won't, if something will go wrong and I won't get to get it tonight. Um, Hey, Leslie Cash Chips, this is a design I made. It says 70s, baby. Um, and it was something else I was going to tell y'all just that quick. And I saw her comment and it went away. Um, oh, that's what it was. So I talked to you guys about doing a sewing project, uh, with a Capri Sun bag, right? And my intent was to put up the information of what you need for the Capri Sun bag in the Facebook group. And like I said, this weekend just went the pot. So I didn't get to go on to the Facebook group and put that information in. So I'm just going to right now um, for the time being tell you and then when I get a moment I'm going to go pop it in to the Facebook group. But um, for right now it's the two cases of the Capri Sun pouches or Kool-Aid pouches whatever drink pouch you choose to do. Um, and it's the little foil pouches. So you, you know what a Capri Sun looks like, then you can do any drink as long as it has a foil pouch and about that same size. So you're looking at about 21 of those pouches. Um, if you get them, and I'll show you here in a moment um what to do and how to clean it, but you're gonna have to clean them out because I don't want folks making the Capri Sun bag and then wind up with fermented bags walking around and then the cops pull you over and you go to jail for DWI because they're like, oh, she out here drinking and driving when you wasn't, you was just carrying a Capri Sun pouch and you didn't clean it. I'm just saying, I'm trying to keep you out of jail. We too cute for jail. So um, I got to show you how to clean it. And then once we get it cleaned, then we'll be ready for it to, um, oh, they come in boxes of 10. Oh, Lord. And you might need three boxes then because you need 21. 21 Capri Sun pouches. Okay. From what I'm reading. And then I'll show you a couple of other things um, that you can have on hand that's going to be super cute. For your Capri Sun bag, if you choose to do so, you don't have to have anything other than the sewing machine um, and sewing machine and um, your Capri Sun pouches. Actually, you know what? You might not need 21. Then I sit here and think about it because that person was showing how to do it with a Capri Sun strap. I was not doing it with the Capri Sun strap. I'm going to use 
the um, webbing that cotton webbing you know um but again i'll show you that here in a minute is what i was going to use so you might not need 21 so let's just shoot for 20 for right now okay so there's the word baby and so now i need to bling the 70s and then we can put it on a shirt and we can get to rocking and rolling with this project all right because we got to retrofy it as well all right, so I said for this, I was going to do arm. Um, hey, Robin Murphy. And we don't need mold creating respiratory issues, right? All right. I'm just saying. But it's not hard to clean them because of you just basically cut a slit in the bottom of the pouch, not through the foil, but through the plastic bottom. And then um, you can do one of a couple of things dependent upon um what you have access to and what you want to do because like i'm not about to drink 21 capri suns um i thought about it don't get it twisted because i love capri sun especially the fruit punch variety i heard there's a sugar-free variety i didn't go look for it because <clears throat> i didn't um but if I remember to look for it, I may switch to doing the sugar-free and then that way. Even though, y'all, I'm finding out for myself anyway um, that when I do things that say sugar-free, like, for instance, um, I was doing the circles and drinking the circle bottles, for instance, the little circle cartridges and stuff. The ones that are sweetened, but they say sugar sugar free because it has the uh, fake sugar sweetener in it, and I'm okay with some of those sweeteners, but I it was making me not feel my best. I I figured that out, so I can't do certain sweeteners, and I don't know what sweeteners for sure I can and can't do. So even though stuff says sugar free, I might not be able to tolerate it well. So. Um, now if it's definitely like sugar-free is not sweetened at all with anything, then I can definitely do those, but the stuff that has any kind of sweetness to it, I have to be careful or just use real sugar in extreme moderation. That's pretty much where my body is right now. Just the ultimate betrayal, unfortunately, as if, as if I have enough to deal with. So, yeah, but it's no worries. That's where we are right now with that. So if you can't do um, all that sugary is what I was getting around to, then you can grab um, a Kool-Aid pitcher and or a drink pitcher and empty out when you go to cut them at the bottom to clean them. You just pour it out into the pitcher and give it to somebody, you know, give it to somebody's kid or whatever, because otherwise you got to wait on them to drink up all them pouches, even though kids can do that relatively quickly. Um, but some people don't want their kids to be drinking all that sugary stuff like that either. So, mm, otherwise I, I'd say pour it down the drain, but that's wasteful. And I have a weird hang up about being wasteful so um so i wouldn't suggest that but you know for those who have access to a bunch of little people that can drink it up super quick then you shouldn't have too many issues getting your your pouches and as soon as we're doing pressing this and doing this shirt then i'll grab a pouch and show you some of the stuff that i got um to adorn my Capri Sun bag. Okay, so here is our room for the 70s. I kind of wish I had a done, now that I'm looking at that arm, I wish I had a done um, like maybe light topaz instead. I don't know, but we ain't gonna worry about it. It's too late. I already blinged it. Your doctor told you if I have to use sugar a teaspoon of real sugar is better than yeah um elevate artistry i'm my 
dietary nurse told me that, but that was back when she, um, that was back when it was pretty much just Splenda. Um, it wasn't, um, what's the name of that darn, uh, this new stuff, this new stuff. I can't think of the name of it because this is going to be too little, so I'm going to have to splice it. Um, the design is, you got pink hair tonight. No, ma'am, it's purple. Um, the design is on my website, Miss Troy. Hotfixfix.store. But if you have Cricut, I wouldn't get it yet. I got to fix it for Cricut. I know it's not done for the Cricut folks. All right, so holler. Okay. So. We're done with all of the pieces. That was quick. It does help when you um, get this template cut out ahead of time. So like I said earlier, what we're going to do is, first of all, are you talking to me? Okay. So I got to pre-press this shirt because this shirt, um, you definitely want to make sure all of the moisture is out of your shirt. Stevia. Thank you, boy, apparel. Um, you want to make sure all of the moisture is out of the shirt before you apply anything. And I recommend this um, for any type of heat applied garment decoration. So whether it's hot fix vinyl, hot, hot tra heat transfer vinyl, whether it's the hot fix rhinestones, whether it's um, not sublimation, sublimation doesn't matter. You can do sublimation easily without having to worry about moisture in the shirt. Um, DTF, that's the other one. Stuff like that. You definitely want to be sure to press the moisture out of the shirt first, okay? And, you know, I'm not saying that because I've heard somebody say it and that's the only way, you know, no. What I'm speaking from is experience. I've seen where it does indeed make a difference in um, how long the decoration stays on the shirt okay do you have it where we can change the number no ma'am i don't elevate artistry i'm not that uh advanced yet elevate <laughs> what i may do elevate is reach out to my dearest uh rhinestone designing friend and see if he can assist me with that he may want to he may not want to i'll have to ask all right, so I uh, pressed it kind of high on the shirt because I want the design to be a little bit higher because what I'm going to do is fringe the shirt, okay? So let us go ahead and I'm going to start with the stripes because the stripes comprise the biggest part of the shirt and it'll help me line up everything else, okay? So this is the one the furthest this one is in the middle so if i'm not mistaken this one goes like right here and i gotta i'm gonna layer this just to be sure of what's what so i don't mess anything up okay so there's that there's that and then this is in the middle like so okay so being that that's in the middle then that's in the right spot and joss holler it over just a little bit and i'm gonna bring it up just a little bit to right there okay so all right now let me let me do this because i don't want this to shift on me Put this under and lay this down. Okay. So there's that. This is the first layer. And then I should have turned my phone off. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. And then we'll go in front of the camera. And get that going. Give me a sec, y'all. I'm going to press this over here off camera. 
And then I'm gonna go grab my phone, put that joker on vibrate. Because, yeah. Folks is texting me. All right. So, three, two, one, lift off. So, here is layer one. And the colors that I used right here. Stones fell off while you was at EJ's daughter. I'm telling you. So, and I was going to mention that as well. When you are, um, it's more than just your pre-pressing as well. So, this is light cyan and green zircon. Okay. Light cyan and green zircon. So, when you're going to, you, you need to pre-press, number one, that's super important. The other factor is um, temperature. Your temperature needs to be um, at no less, no lower, as far as I'm concerned, with our stones. Now, anybody else's stones, do with, you know, whatever. But on ours, we strongly recommend 350 degrees. All right. And if you do 350 degrees, Firm pressure, firm pressure, 350 degrees. Sorry, my brain can't talk and line up at the same time. Anyways, 350 degrees, firm pressure, and then um, you want to... Let me make sure I got this right because my tops need to be lined up. Okay. All right. So 350 degrees at firm pressure on your templates. And that's after you pre-press. The other part to that is you can use firm pressure as firm as you can. So if you have an HTV rot, you want to put like an extra pillow or something under there to make sure that that, you know, pressure stays good and strong. But in addition to that, if you have a thicker fabric, like right now I'm doing a t-shirt. So firm pressure, 350 degrees um, for 12 to 15 seconds should be sufficient for a t-shirt after you've pre-pressed already. But if you um, have a thicker fabric, like a sweatshirt or a canvas tote bag or um, a hoodie, something of that magnitude, you will probably have to press for longer than the 15, 12 to 15 seconds, okay? So just keep that in mind. Thicker fabric, you're going to have to press longer. Beverly Smith, congratulations on your Juliet cutter. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes, congratulations, ma'am. That is awesome sauce. So Juliet is a totally awesome cutter to have absolutely love the caesar cutters romeo or juliet is very well worth it Alrighty, and so definitely check out your um pressure make sure that your pressure is firm when you're doing your rhinestones and in addition to that you want to check out what it is that you're putting your rhinestones on so that you can make sure to press it for the right amount of time uh, the thicker the fabric the longer you need to press at 350 degrees so sweatshirts i would probably say press for 30 seconds roughly tote bags and eh, about about 30 seconds as well a little bit longer i tend to do mine because i do multiple presses i tend to leave mine at about 12 to 15 seconds um but you want to make sure that the thicker fabrics, the, the fabric itself heats up and the glue on the stone heats up as well so that you can ensure a good, successful press. All right. So here's the word baby. I'm going to put that on next. Alrighty, and again, I need to holler a thank you to Patrice because I promise y'all this would not be possible. 
Had it not been for her, because I was like, ooh, I was ready to fight. To get this thing to line up, it was not cooperating with me at all. Let me squish that over. I don't want that stone to be on top of that one. Is that a stone on top of that? That's another one. So I'm going to squish that over a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to feel, make sure no stones are on top of stones. Because I did get this cut kind of close. That's why I said I kind of want to... Um, what's the bell for? Just a country girl? Hey, country girl. So the bell is our way of celebrating... Um, because a lot of us in here craft and what I found is, um, whenever we purchase our equipment, our equipment is kind of pricey. Like none of our equipment is inexpensive. Our heat presses are generally well over a hundred dollars. Cutters can be two to $300 embroidery machines, the whole nine. So whenever a person makes the um, is able to swing getting a piece of equipment that's a cause for celebration in my um eyes because when you talk to your family your family is going to be like oh you got a what oh, oh okay yeah no nobody really understands but we do because we're all crafters and when we get something new we're like shoot i gotta tell somebody and so I've always made it where on this channel, if you come in and you let me know that you got a new baby, well, we're going to celebrate with you because we understand and we know what it is to get a new piece of equipment. And so, and we call it a baby because a lot of times we say, go ahead and name, especially when we were doing embroidery, name your baby. Um, and so that we can celebrate with you, you know, and be like, oh, like Patrice's machine, Brody, Brody was acting up. She's like, Brody is acting up today. Or my cutter machine is Graffy. Graffy was acting up. Ooh, Graffy got a new, I got to tell y'all about that too. Graffy got a new cutting strip. Graffy was cutting his butt off the day. Shoot, this whole template. Only a few stones, only a few circles did not come out. I was weeding like old school, right? I was so impressed. I was so tickled. Just so tickled. All right, y'all. This is the final peel. And oh, and also, yes, we do ring for new members and subscribers and all of that stuff. So here's our peel reveal. Y'all check this mess out right here. Tell me that ain't no 70s baby right there. What? Look at this mess. Oh my God. That looks so good with that coffee. It turned out better than I expected. Oh my God. LaShonda, thank you for being a new member. Yes, honey. Yes. Honey. Uh, what? Look at this hot food mess right here. Come through. 70. Look, look, look. Somebody come and look at this. Some somebody come and look at this. Look, look. Come look at that. Let me slide it up so the whole thing is on the board. Because you've got to see this. And it's look, look at this. Okay. Come. The finer thing, bling. I, I just, I mean, th that's why I don't brag on the rhinestones, even though I call them the finer thing. thing I don't brag on them. They brag on they self, fam. Look at this hot fool mess right here. This is Arm Dorado, okay, which is a gold color. Then we have Light Siam, which is a medium red. Then we have Tangerine which is a medium orange. We also have sun, which is a lighter orange, but I didn't use that. This is tangerine. This is coffee, which is a brown. This is green uh, zircon. And this is citrine. And the word baby is crystal AB. That turned out much better than I fully, I just, I, I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't. Girl, look at this. Oh my God, y'all. I love that. Okay. So we're not done with the shirt. We're not done with the shirt. We're not done with the shirt. We about to go all the way retro with this joint right here, okay? Yes, we is. So one of the shirts that I saw, um, they cut the sleeves off. Okay, so it was like just this part of the shirt. I don't remember if they cut the neck out, but I know the sleeves were cut off. And then, like I said, we're going to fringe the shirt. Now, we're going to do this. 
basically very i'm thinking about leaving my sleeves though i mean i love my arms my arms i feel like are super cute but see in the summertime it might get hot i don't know i'm gonna have to think on that let me think on that. or i can just make me another one if i don't like it without the sleeves how about that all right so let's start with the bottom let's start with the bottom okay so here's the bottom of the shirt. This is actually, Bella and Canvas is a long shirt. I love long shirts, okay? So don't think, you know, I'm super crazy about that. And all I'm pretty much going to do is just cut strips. I'm just going to cut strips. I'm going to cut up the side of the shirt first. And then I'm just going to cut strips because I want to fringe this, okay? So this is like literally old, 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 old school. And I could make this easier. Actually, you know what? Let's make this easier. Let's make this easier. Let me go right here. And then I'm going to cut up this other side. Let's cut up the other side. Nice sharp scissors. It does not have to be perfect. That's the other thing I do like about a lot of the stuff that we used to do back in the day, the crafts and stuff. I was telling my mom that today because she was like, I just because I showed her the design and I was showing her the wig. And like I told y'all, you know, I asked her to help me get the wig styled and stuff. And I was like, because I told her, I was like, you know, she went to beauty school. I didn't get to go because her high school offered beauty school um, as a part of their curriculum right way back in the 70s. And by the time I came along, number one. They wouldn't let me go to the school they went to, mom and dad, which is trifling. But I'm going to leave that alone because I'm long past school now. And who knows, the the one that I went to was where I needed to be. But they wouldn't let me go to that school. So I definitely couldn't take advantage of the um, beauty thing, beauty school thing. So that was one part of it then the other part i was like i just didn't have a natural talent for doing hair only call i need a design tangerine yeah that is good for poo so you have a link for those long shirts uh suzanne go green go this is bella canvas so if you go to um i would say jiffyshirts.com you probably can find bella canvas in this um and i'll go and find a link and see about putting it in the description um, so, but I told her that and she, but she saw the shirt design today and then she, um, called me and she was like, I just love your creativity. And I was like, mom, do you not, I, I remember being in kindergarten and she would help me with my projects. You know, even, well, no, not kindergarten, because kindergarten, you too little for projects. But whenever it was, I started doing projects as early as I can remember. She would help me with my projects, and I would have a ton of them. And my projects would always be heads above everybody else's, because we would do different stuff with ours. Like, for instance, one project, I want to say it was in the second grade, and... It was, we had to, it was the second, I think it was third grade because it was Miss Cook. And she was like, you have to do a poetry book. Find, um, you know, I think it was something like 10 or 12 poems and put them in a book. And you have to write the poems and make a book. Well, my mom, um, not only did I write poems, I found because I love to read anyway. We stayed at the library. But she had me draw pictures to go with the poems and on pictures where I felt like I couldn't draw because I didn't draw very well, I thought. But even still, when um, I had those poems, she pulled out pictures that we had took. Like there was one about a dog or something like that. And I had a picture of my dog. The actual photo, developed photo was in a part of my book. And so... You know, I always got great grades on creative stuff because me and my mom would always do creative things with my projects and stuff. And so I just, I remember that. And I was telling her, mom, my creativity is because of you. You know, I, I, we did this together. 
she never did my projects for me, but she helped me with ideas and stuff. And she was like, you ought to da 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 Man, I'm grateful to that woman because without her, I probably wouldn't be where I am today Um, as far as creating things and teaching you guys and all of that jazz. So I'm grateful to her. And hopefully she's watching. She said she was going to have my aunties watch um, because... And my aunties are creative too. Oh my gosh, they are forever doing. I, they would do projects. To, they would do fun stuff together that were creative. And I thought that was just so cool as a kid, you know. So that's where this creativity comes from. All right. So all I did was this was a really long shirt. So I took the bottom, folded it up to where I want my my uh fringe to stop and then i just cut strips i didn't measure anything i just kind of cut where i felt like i wanted it to stop right and so what that allows is the keep me from having to um use scissors and cut all of that with scissors okay but as you see my blade need to be changed so i'm probably gonna have to trim you know cut apart certain places but I'm sure you guys remember fringing shirts, right? At least I hope so. So all we have to do now that it's fringed is you pull it. And it'll kind of string, make it stringy and fringier. Um, if you want to, you don't have to fringe it that much. You can just leave it in, you know, the thicker squares. But once you pull it, see how that went fat to skinny? Now it stays skinny. It never goes back to um being a wide strip it's it goes back to skinny all right so that's what we're gonna do and like i said it doesn't have to be perfect that's the other thing i like about the 60s you know we kind of did whatever and it was on the fly ripping jeans and stuff we was ripping jeans back then chaps think they done start as some ripped jeans they don't know what no ripped jeans is that came from us what don't play. All right. So, again, all I'm doing is stretching this out, taking this and stretching it because I want it to be fringy, not cringy. Okay. Even though it's probably going to wind up being cringy, but we'll get to that in a moment. All right. So, there's that. And all I'm doing is pulling flare leg jeans, right? Lisa Wells, don't play bell bottoms. Where you think that came from? You done lost your mind. Oh, you're so cringe. Whatever. You wouldn't have that if it wasn't for us. The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. So guess what? Don't play. All right. Um so, like I mentioned, if you get this design, I love this design. Let me fix it where it can be seen even while I'm doing this. If you get the design, it is not yet optimized for Cricut. So, I will be doing that um, by tomorrow, Lord willing, in the creek don't rise. I got an early day tomorrow taking care of some stuff, finishing out my crazy weekend. It drags over into Monday. Um... But when I get an opportunity, and I may do it before I go to bed, because I did sleep in today, because again, not a morning person. Um, I will work on that at some point and get that up, and I will let you guys know here on YouTube in the community tab. So you should get a notification that you know we posted something if your notifications are turned on, um, or you should get a notification in the Facebook group as well because I try to, whenever there's something I need to announce, like the newsletter or stuff like that, I try to put it here on YouTube and on Facebook so that, um, and in your the newsletter anyway is your email. All right. So, oh my gosh, I'm loving it. So look at that. Fringy, holler. I'm be cute. 
what? Okay. And so, like I said, the one that I saw, the sleeves were cut as well. So, what y'all think? Cut the sleeves or not cut the sleeves? What do you think? I think cut the sleeves. I really do. I don't know why. Oh, and you can tie these. So, like, to make it super, super cute, in some ways, you can, like, oh, you can't see that. Hold on. So, you can tie these as well. So, like, make sure you only have the front, and then, you know, you can tie them. And that'll look super cute, too, if you, you know, knot it just so. And, you know, that's that's kind of cute, too. You can do it however. Put beads on them. LaShonda! Come through, LaShonda. What? Yes, ma'am. Don't let me find some beads that match this. Don't play. Fringe the sleeves. Ooh. Ooh. Linda Gray coming through with the good ideas. What? Don't play. Let's fringe the sleeves. That will be cute. And worst case scenario, if I'm like, eh, then we can, we can, uh, so I'm assuming I fringed the sleeves the exact same way. Never fringed sleeves before. Pony beads. Lisa Wells, bringing it back. It never went nowhere. Don't play with me. We was always cool in the 70s. Always. 70s was the best. Heck, that's when, that's when Sesame Street was on and popping. Don't play. Don't play. Niners is doing good. That's good to hear. I don't know. I don't root for nobody because <laughs> I don't care. I probably should care, but I don't. I hope this is how I was supposed to friends because guess what? I ain't never friends to use it before, so I don't know. All right, so let's pull, pull. Bleach it, tie dye it later. That would be cute. Music was the best in the seventies. Girl, don't play. Hot pink pony bees. Tie. We used to tie a knot at the top of each cut to keep it from spreading up. Okay. I thought tying a knot was just because it was cute. Because I never really tied. I don't think mine when I used to do these a long time ago. Clear beads on the fringes. Don't let me. I'll find some beads, y'all. You know. You know. I don't care. I don't have any beads. I darn sure would. This is going to be super cute. Oh, oh my God. This is going to be super, super cute. Okay. There's one sleeve. Actually, I'm going to turn it over. I don't want to because I was enjoying looking at the 70s um, design. All right, I'm going to cut it up here. Whoops. Cutting it off the uh, sleeve bowl. And let's do this. A little bit faster. Just a little. Just a little bit. All right, a little bit faster, just a little bit, a little bit faster. Ain't that cute? This is going to be cute. And then y'all going to have me ordering beads and stuff? That's crazy. Uh-oh, did that one? No, it didn't. Okay. The grungier it looks, the better, in my opinion. This is what happens when you Google 70s and... I can't remember what I was looking for, but like I said, I came across that this this thing with these lines, and I was like, oh my god, it just spoke to my soul. It really did. Wooden beads with bling around them. I have to look at that. Because I don't know where I can get some wooden beads with bling, but I'll definitely look and see if I can't find some. Super cute. So what y'all think? At the car wash. Oh, 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 car wash, yeah. Okay, so again, this is 
light cyan this is tangerine this is coffee this stripe is coffee this is green zircon and this is citrine okay those are the stripes and then the let the 70s is arum and the word baby is crystal ab and it's blinging his whole heart out just absolutely love it and then we fringed it we just sat here and cut it up so let's go to because i told y'all i was going to show you um i show i need to show you what i bought to go with our capri sun and then like i said the let's see what is my i do have some beads i'll let y'all see them but i bought these beads for the capri sun drink pouch project that we gonna do that's what i bought those beads for okay that's what i bought the beads for so let me grab my microphone and then we will let me grab my water let me grab the track ball and we'll switch the camera over to over here and then where is it at and then we'll look at the shirt and go from there let's see let me make sure i got my microphone like i said where is this at oh here it is there we go all right Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> What'd you think? The belly ain't, you know, it ain't so I can't pull this up so that the, the belly button doesn't show as much. What'd you think? Yep. Cringy. Hopefully not cringy. I love it. I love my shirt. Hopefully y'all like the shirt too. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's go right here. Because y'all probably like. <laughs> I love it. Y'all, y'all check it out. Oh my God, look at the friends. Okay, so it might be a little bit too much size. But I don't know, we'll have to look at that another time. Let me cut this music off. All right, y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Soul train line, not the soul train line. God, I love that. Look at it. Whoops, I keep turning it the wrong way because I'm looking at it in the camera. Look at that. I love it. Oh my god. Okay. So, anyways, we gotta. I don't know. The sleeves kind of look like they're gonna aggravate me. So I may cut the fringe off the sleeves and just do the thing. And I think they cut the neck out. I'm gonna have to look at the one picture that I saw because it's been a while since I cut up a shirt and I wanted to look as close to authentic as I can but I'm loving I love it okay all right so did I leave everything over there I sure did everything Noel here's some stuff right here now I want to show y'all some stuff that I got to... <laughs> hey Terry um I want to show y'all the stuff that I got for the Capri Sun pouches, right? And so, and then I also need to show y'all the storage ideas, okay? So let me grab this and show y'all this. And I also got another embroidery project that I bought some stuff for. Sharon Davenport, thank you so much for the super chat. Holla. Yas, honey. <laughs> Yas, thank you very much. I see a theme for bling fast right right we need to um so i got now i did not get this for um here is the you remember i was saying that this the person 
that I was looking at for doing the Capri Sun bag, she used Capri Sun pouches to make the straps to the bag. I don't, I didn't want to use that for myself. So I bought webbing and like this pack was on Amazon and I'm going to link all of this when I do post the stuff that you need for the Capri Sun pouch. The Capri Sun pouch is not embroidery. The Capri Sun pouch is not embroidery. <laughs> she said, like, I can dig it, girl. Thank you, Miss Joy, for the sister. Y'all, yes, honey. Yes. So I want to use this webbing, which this is cotton. Um, and I'm going to use this for the straps because I just don't want to make, I don't want to have to, I'm already going to be making the pouch. I don't want to make the straps too, right? But this is a personal preference. If you want to make the straps, then you are going to need um, at least 21 Capri Sun pouches. But for everybody else, you should need 21, okay? Oh, and I need to get a Capri Sun pouch and show you what I was talking about. Um, and then I got some other stuff for some other pouch, uh, some another embroidery in the hoop thing. But see, this is cotton. It's just a cotton strap. All right. Just this. It's kind of like a cotton canvas type situation. This is called webbing. So if you look it up on Amazon, then that's, you should find webbing if you want to any color i just got a multi-pack just because i come across the things to do with webbing all the time um the other thing what did i do with it the other bigger thing i gotta find it is let's see i got these that's it nope hold on y'all i'm gonna have to go get it i'm gonna have to go get it because these are for the other project that hopefully we'll be doing in another week or so with you guys. Um, so you can also trim out your pouch with lace. I bought lace. Um, and this is in different colors as well. So like you can um, put this around the top edge. Yes, that's a webbing bundle. Yes, it is. Um, you can put this at the top edge of your Capri Sun pouch, you know, to give it a little extra something. And I'm going to show you something else that I absolutely love with the um, Capri Sun pouches. The, one of the bags that I saw is I was coming up and I would see the pouches and this made it so super stinking cute. And I was like jealous because I always wanted one of those and couldn't get one. Now I'm going to make my own, but I'm going to show you this other part. Let me grab it. And I should have had this in there with me, but I forgot about it. But this, to go all around the top edge of the bag, you can do a boa, right? And it's super cute because the Capri Sun pouches peek out from the bottom. You know, the, the bag is at the bottom and this is, goes all the way around the top. So I went and found some pretty boas, bows, whatever you want to call them. And that's what I have. So I got a few colors so that we could play with some ideas of some colors. And of course, like if you get different flavors of the uh, uh, Kool-Aid, like if you do Kool-Aid, oh, I didn't get a Capri Sun pouch. Um, but if you do the different flavors of the different Kool-Aid, then you can match a boa with the flavor of the Kool-Aid pouch, right? So that's something else you can do. Um, now, when are we going to do this? I was hoping to do it by next weekend, but I'll keep you guys informed on that and make sure. This is mine's collar. And so you can um, be prepared to do the uh, thing. All right. And so here is a Capri Sun pouch, right? And you get enough of these, flatten them. We're making fabric out of them, so to speak. But to clean them, you take a regular Capri Sun pouch. You don't have to drink it if you don't want to. You can drink it, whatever. But see how the bottom kind of opens up like this, right? 
and that's so that it can stand up just cut a slit in the bottom like from here to here and that'll make an opening because we're not going to use it you know with it puffed out like that we're going to want it flat so when you flatten it that cut is going to be hidden on the inside so what you want to do is cut a slit right here whether it's Capri Sun, whether it's Kool-Aid, whatever, drain all of the drink out of it if it's not already empty and then rinse it out like a little bit of soap and water, slash it around like that and then pour it out and then open it up like that again and let it sit to dry. All right. And then check it. You know, you might want to take a paper towel, reach up in there, just be careful because I don't know that if you cut this, if it'll, if the foil will cut you or not, it shouldn't, but I don't know. Um, but definitely this is what we want. And according to the template that I saw, they said 21. That was if you are going to use the pouch to make the straps as well. Okay. And we'll give you more information on that. It's not embroidery. This is this pouch, the Capri Sun bag, is not going to be an embroidery project. It's only sewing. If you sew with needle and thread. I assume you should be able to follow along with this as well. It's just going to take you a little bit longer. Um, but needle and thread or sewing machine, preferably sewing machine Capri Sun bag is what we're going to do. Again, retro girl. We're going retro with some stuff. That's what we're doing. And then the next embroidery in the hoop project is going to be retro as well in a way. So we're going to do a throwback nod to something nostalgic, nostal nostalgic, nostalgia, nostalgic, nostalgic, who cares? We all do a throwback to denim, okay? And so we're going to do some super cute denim in the hoop bags. And so for those, um, kind of like the potato chip bag in a way, you know, the little zipper pouch, it will be four by four friendly. And um, similar to this one is jacked up because i rushed through it and it's not proper but you see how i got the thing hanging from it so from here i got some cool stuff to hang along with that so i got me some tassels i got some pretty beads to hang from it like i got a lot of stuff that we're just gonna have a really good time with making some of these and i'm gonna lay all of this stuff out just before the project and show you all of the stuff that i bought so that you can go out and grab it too okay so just fyi we got two projects coming up the capri sun pouch is not embroidery it is sewing so we have a sewing project coming up and then we will have an in the hoop um pouch bag coming up and i'm gonna show you all kind of cool stuff that you can add to it and make it super cute um but that's after the capri sun bag okay so a couple of other things coming up that are not bling, necessarily bling related. Like I wouldn't be putting bling on my Capri Sun bag, but the denim pouch that we're going to be doing, you can bling it totally. You can bling it and it will be adorable. So that's where we're going with that. Now, let me get this closed out. And like I said, the 70s design that's on this shirt is right now on my website, but um, it's not optimized for Cricket or Brother yet. Give me a little bit. We'll optimize it. And it's SX10 only. Also, I'm going to reach out and see if I can get some help to get the other numbers done some kind of way so that you guys can do your other numbers. All right. But I'm not good at being under stress and making designs under pressure. I'm going to have to call in reinforcements. Also, really quick to show you again, for those who are late coming in or, had, or wasn't here in the beginning, here are the designs this week, the rhinestone designs that the rhinestone mechanic made for us this week. Um, and definitely check these out, grab them while they are on a deal of $5 a piece. Um, and this $5 will only last for the next 24 hours. So if you don't get them now, then 24 hours from now, don't send him no email talking about, oh, I did not miss it. I fell asleep, blah, blah. Yeah, guess what? $9.99, okay? So you hear me now saying, go get your design. So go get your design. And your mystery box will always be $2. So you got time for that one, okay? While I suck on this Capri Sun, I want to show you guys, what if you bought it already? Bought what already? Oh, you can still, um, 
usually what happens is you have a download link in your email, right? So whenever I change the design and optimize it and whatnot, you can go back and re-download because the link never expires. So you can go back and download it again and it will be the optimized updated version. Okay. That's usually how that would go down. Um, that's not what I was going to show you. This is what I was going to show y'all. So the last thing I want to show you all. That's super cute. Hmm. How can I save that? I don't know how to say that. She look. No bus drivers tonight, fam. No bus drivers. Stressful weekend. This is this is my release. <laughs> Actually, I forget the juice. The because it's hundred percent juice. This ain't the the non juice kind. The other stuff kind. So I don't feel so bad drinking this one. Um, share screen. Let me show you guys. This is our Facebook page. Here is an example of how spilling the diversity did her rhinestone storage. So just to show y'all how super cute that is. She got, oh, I like her tanker duck. Her tanker duck is adorable. She got her bell. She got a troll. She got her chips and she got them in the drawers. Love those drawers. And she even got some bottles of glitter stuff down here. How cute is that, right? Let me see. Here's the hoop group. Somebody, oh, that's Miss uh, Sharon Davenport. She did her teddy bear, super cute teddy bear. Oh, we got 11 comments. Okay. So Greg Barker. Mm -mm. Hello. Come through green. Excel Media. Look at the bling, y'all. Look, look, look at the bling. She the cushion berry time. The fruit toast is still sugar. Shh. Oh, confetti vinyl. Cool. Look at Excel Media, y'all. Showing all the way out with the green. Do y'all see this mess? Put a thumbs up. You see this mess and you like it. Miss JD tell me I can't talk that. This is just the first picture though. But look at this. This is what I don't like. That was an hour ago. I know that's fire. Hit me. Look. We need some more thumbs up on this joint. Look at that. Tell me that ain't cute. So I can call you a lot of your face. That's super cute. Wow, someday my place will look like that. Right, Beth? Right. Because if I turn my camera around and show y'all this studio, y'all be like, oh my God. How in the world? All right, so that's that one. This is Sherelle Green. She stores hers on three-tiered acrylic spice rack. The rhinestones are grouped together like mixes, neons, opals, plus all other color. Ice chips are stacked alphabetically. Her 250 gross containers are on a different rack. And look what she got up there, y'all. Sherelle showing out with her purple diamond color. Yes. I know she look right. My bad. So here's her storage. Super cute. On her tear rack. Gonna thumbs up on that too. Because yes, that's bomb.com as well. All right, she Lucy. That's one pouch down. I ain't got to drink no more. All right, so that's Sherelle's. Let's see who else we got. Myra Perez Logan. Look at hers. Love it. That's one of them roly cart thingies. I like that. And she got her squeezy diamonds and her squeezy duck that i sent out and all of her adorable bling love it holler go ahead oh myra and she can roll her bling around fam you need your bling over here 
roll it over here. You need your bling over there? Roll it over there. You ain't got to go to the bling. The bling can come to you. What you saying? Go ahead. Oh, Myra. Can we get purple diamonds at the next bling fling? You don't know what I got coming up, Miss Joy. I have all kinds of crazy stuff up my sleeves. And I usually don't do the same thing twice. All right. So that was Myra's. Let's see. This is Patty Shepard. Ooh, loving it. She's got her square containers with her stones in them. And she's got her jars as well. Even with the label on it. And she's got her 250 boxes. Super cute. That's her bling collection. Looking adorbs with a teddy on top. Holler, teddy. We're going to like on that too, Miss Patty. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing. I wish I could click to the next one. It won't let me. That's crazy. You got to go back out. Love it. That looks like uh, either Capri or Green Zircon right there. All right. So that was Patty. Now we got Vanessa Davis Parnell. Holler. She says, my rhinestones are stored on shelves my husband built for me. I put curtains because, of course, I can sometimes get a little messy. I know that's right. Oh, I see. The curtains are in front of it to hide it when she needs to hide it. But that's her collection of stones. Look at that. Lights under it and everything. Ask me, do I have lights in front of my stones? No, I don't need them. Look at all them boxes. Looking super pretty. Good night, Lynn. So we're going to like on that too for Vanessa Davis Parnell looking pretty. So hopefully you guys got some good ideas from just that little bit. Because Lord knows we need it. And I'm going to share one other group with you. You may not be aware of who this group is or even heard of them. But I'm going to share them anyway. Let's see. Let me see if I can find there we go. I'm gonna share this group with y'all because I've gotten a lot of really good inspiration from them. Um, and I'm gonna drop a share link. Let's see, copy link. I'm gonna share the link to this group because when I tell y'all, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna put paste and let's share the screen. Because we all need inspiration. This is a really nice group. They've got over 100,000 members. And it's called Craft Room Organization Only. So I dropped the link in the chat. Um, and definitely check them out. Because some of these po folks have some really creative craft storage ideas. And some of them, like in this instance, she used something vintage to create her craft storage. Right? They also ask um different ones for suggestions i would love to see some craft rooms for people who paint um then look at this one she did a hutch isn't that pretty she does journaling and scrapbooking so hers is super pretty and then sometimes people just show just their crafting area and you can get a lot of really good inspiration in here um, some people, oh, suggestions. That's what I was going to say. Some people uh, ask suggestions. Like, what do you think? Like in this one, um, she lost a house. She had a house fire and lost everything, including her cats. Um, and they bought a house and it's in the basement. It's a section. So, you know, she's excited about doing hers. So yeah, definitely check this group out. Um, look at all that cricket vinyl, y'all. Look, go in there and throw in some of your crafting ideas some bling and stuff like that okay get some good ideas from these folks it's a nice group i haven't seen any drama or anything crazy in this group at all you know i'm not one for a, a drama group at the period i'm not <laughs> so she must do sublimation use and there's her x tool she might even be in here with us who knows i don't know but I'm just saying, look, she's got a video showing how, and I hope to be able to put a video up of mine. Cause right now, if I do a video, like I, who was I talking to? I think it was Sheila. And I said, when I walk into my craft room, I want to hear the angels sing. 
Right now, when I walk into the craft room, I hear angels scream. So I really got a lot of work I need to do to get my craft room up and going like it's supposed to be. Okay. So that's that. And for those who may not know what I'm talking about with the Capri Sun pouch, I just thought about it. Um, let me show you what it is we're looking to do. It's a sewing project. It's not um, anything else. It's not embroidery, rather. Oh, see. I can show you what I was talking about. So here's the Capri Sun pouches, but this is the one. See how they got the fringe? Mine is, of course, way more boa than that. But see how they got the... And these people made little ones. So this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pouches, not including the straps. So that's nine, ten. So they probably did this one with um, just ten. And see, this person did no sew, but ours are going to be sewing. Oh, see, here's the one with the feather, the thicker feather boa at the top. But again, they use Capri Sun straps. I don't want to do straps with, with mine. That's a lunch bag. That's not the one we're doing. This one has the webbing as well. They did a whole darn lunch box. I'm not doing all of that, but I am looking to use the straps. Not all the way down, but at the top. So yeah, here's this is what we're looking to do. So for those who didn't know what I was talking about, this is this is it. We're gonna do a tote bag. Um a little mine is gonna be a little bit bigger than that. I think ours is gonna be closer to this one, this size. Where's, what's that, six? Six on the other side is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So yeah, this, this, is, this is the size bag that we're doing. Um, LA Archery, I have to put a list together, ma'am. I ain't gonna lie. Right now, 21 Capri Sun pouches or juice pouches, um, sewing machine. And I'm using cotton webbing strap for mine. But if you want to do a juice pouch strap, then you don't have to do webbing. Okay. So, yeah. That's that. That's that. So, that was tonight, y'all. I don't think I've ended at 1040 ever in the whole history of me going live on Sundays. I don't know. I could be wrong, but this is crazy. I'm I'm actually done. I was I'm not going to do another shirt. This is the shirt that we did tonight. This is my 70s baby design. This design is in the hotfixfix.store. The link is in the description. Um but I do have to optimize it for Cricut. I have not done that yet. Um and I also want to list the um amount of stones per color. I don't have that listed yet either, but I do have the size, the final size of the design that it should be when it's imported. And I also have um, a picture of the design up, uh, but I just need to confirm that, you know, clean it up. I just know how it is. I was excited to, to go ahead and do it because I cut it out and I did bling it, but I know you guys usually are excited to do it too. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and list it, even though it's not all the way up to par. And so we also uh, fringed the shirt. Okay. So we did the fringe. I did the fringe on the sleeves. I don't like how it's, it's still showing fat, not fat arms, because I don't care about the fat arms, but it's like, you can't see the fringe. You can see it, but you can't. So I'm probably going to cut the fringe off of the arms and just leave the fringe down below. Um, I don't know. Who knows? And then, again, the colors that I used in this is the 70s is Arum Dorado. So this is Arum. And then this yellow stripe is Citrine. This greenish stripe is Green Zircon. The middle stripe is coffee and then this stripe orange is um tangerine because i thought about using hyacinth but i did tangerine and then this stripe is light cyan 
And then the signature um, baby is Crystal AB. And again, the 70s is Aram Dorado. Um, what font? I want to say the font is um, Impact, knowing me. I love Impact. That's like my number one go-to bold font font. It's one of my favorites. So that's probably what that is. Um, and then as far as making one that says 80s or 60s or 50s, um, I struggled to do this. I ain't gonna lie. So I may go ahead and do it. I don't know. It depends what kind of feedback I get from Dennis. Cause Dennis probably is going to be like, uh, you on your own fam. And I'm gonna be like, I can't even be mad at you. I just can't. But then again, he may be like challenge accepted. Who knows? So I'll check and see tie knots connecting the friends, like in a diamond pattern. Shut up, Gail designs. I don't know how to do that. That would be cute. Do you have just the SVG? Just the SVG for... Oh, you mean that's not rhinestones? No. Lisa Wells. So what I mean by Optimize for Cricut, since I got 15 minutes, I can show you that. I can show you what I mean. Because a lot of times people don't realize the difference with doing a rhinestone template and having a template that is made for or made that it's friendly to the Cricut user. So let's see if it pulled up. It's pulling up now. And then we'll share screen and then we'll be done for the night. We'll be done. I don't care. Okay. So let's go to Canvas. Let's go to share screen because otherwise you can't see what I'm doing. So here is um, Cricut Design Space and the design that I created for this shirt. Let's do upload. Let's go upload image. Let's browse and it should be in my downloads folder. And it is. And why is that right there? Me and my bathing suit picture. 70s. So let's open it up and see what this see what this says. Loading image. Wow, that's a large image. This may take a moment. So it actually did pop up. Okay, but it did take it a minute. So let's go to upload because Cricut has been working on it. They done heard us complaining, us rhinestone folks. We've been complaining about this for a minute. All right. Um. So they've been working on that. So let's click to add it to the canvas and let's add the canvas. So now as you see, this line is scrolling across because it's, it's not popping right up. It's going to take it a minute. So if like I have, I do a lot of video editing with my computer. So this is like a, a really, I don't want to say a high end computer because it's not like high end, but it's optimized to process faster and quickly. So if you have a slower computer, this process is going to take you longer. Okay. But I have a juiced up computer so it does this stuff faster. All right, so number one, I want you to notice this says it's four inches by 3.27 inches. That's a whole bold face lie. Like that's about as bold face lie as you can get. That's the wrong size. So number one, I need to give you guys what the size of it is and it's on the website. Let's go here, let's go here, let's go here. Let's go by now. Let's go bling now. Let's go rhinestone designs and let's go 70s baby. Here is the size. It should be 11.42 inches wide by 9.33 inches high. The cool thing is you only have to remember one of these numbers. You either going to remember 11.42 or you're going to remember 9.33. That's an easier number to remember 9.33 high okay so 9.33 high so let's go back and what we're going to do is come right here to where it says size right here where it says size and this padlock right here in the middle let's do something real quick i've always wanted to do this let's grab that right there and let's let's see we're gonna turn that red Okay. 
Oh, we're going to rotate it. Let's go. Is it 45? 45. Actually, let's leave it at 40 because I don't even care. Oh, wrong way. Why can't I do rotate the other way? That's crazy to me. So we're going to go negative 40. Negative 40. Let's see if that works. Oh, that works. Okay. So right here, see where is, oh, right here is where I'm pointing. Can you see that? So this padlock that you see right here, this padlock is locked. I can click it and unlock it. Did you see that? See how it's a bloop and it flipped over that way? That's unlocked. But if I click it one more time, it's locked. That's what you want. And you remember 9.33 high. So as long as this padlock is locked, once I change this to 9.33, this measurement will automatically change to the other side size that we needed it to be that we didn't have to remember. We only need to remember one number. So I'm going to change that to 9.33, and I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Why did I do that? That was wrong. Did I do that? Yep. See, it did it to my thing. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Let's back that back down and grab this and go 9.33. My bad. 9.33 and hit enter. Okay. So now it changed it to 11.416 which if we go back to my um thing is 11.42 so 11.42 is 11.416 and six rounds up to a two okay because i only do the two place decimal so it doesn't hurt anything for it to be 11.416 so number one that's one problem with cricket and why it's not optimized but that's not that big of a deal the biggest problem with why it's not optimized for Cricut is right here. You see this? This is the entire design right here. Let's hide the arrow because I'm done with it now. But this is the entire design. But when you click this down arrow, it's showing you every single dead blame dot that is on this screen every single dot that's entirely too much i don't know why y'all didn't know that kansas city was gonna win i knew they would because politics but anyway so here's all the dots you don't want that that's team too much speaking of teams that's team too much so what you want is to get a design let's go new I'm going to replace this. Now, I'm not going to upload a new template, but I'm going to upload, let's say, this one. This one with the sunflower. And I'm going to add it to Canvas. And hopefully this one is optimized. I'm trying, I was trying to find a design that was optimized already. And that way I don't have to optimize that one. Um, let me go down and let's see. Let's do this, actually. Ungroup. Let's ungroup that. Uh, it's already ungrouped. Let's click off of it. Okay, let's delete that. All right, so now this is optimized. So notice this template, you don't see, there's no drop down box, there's no long list of dots. It's just one, one piece of paper basically so cricket can upload this fairly easily this one is just one piece no no long list of dots that's what we mean by optimized for cricket so a rhinestone design can be changed into this so that you can bring it right on over into cricket upload it into cricket Cut it out with the Cricut and be done without having to load all of those dots. Because the other problem that would happen um, if you brought in like that first design with the long list of dots, sometimes people would forget to attach. And so when you go to cut it out, it's just going to be a whole line of dots. And you're like, oh, my God, where did my design go? It's all bunch of That's because it wasn't optimized for Cricut. Okay. So, Emily... 
unfortunately, that's for right now, you have a very simple solution. And that solution starts with the designer and the designer just needs to optimize it. I can, so, or, or Emily, or let me show you what you can do. Let me close this out and we done with Cricut. And I'm going to open up Silhouette Business Edition. It was on sale last week. Oh, you did post your product? Yeah, that's right, Sheila. I was supposed to show yours too. Thank you for posting it there. Um, don't let me forget to post it before I leave. Hopefully, I'll see your, your message. Um, but Business Edition Silhouette was on sale at one point. And I highly, strongly furtively just i furtively wrong word i say go get silhouette business edition if you're doing rhinestones you should have silhouette business edition i'm just saying it's 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 a godsend it definitely helps now at some point maybe leonardo will have well at some point leonardo is going to have it but for right now silhouette is your go-to even if you have a cricket you don't have to have the silhouette machine let me show you real quick the share screen. Hopefully, I can go ahead and optimize this somewhat while I got you guys. Uh-oh. What is going on here? Okay, there we go. It was acting like it didn't want to share. Okay, so this is Silhouette Business Edition. I'm going to bring in my design. Okay, actually, I'm going to bring it in this way because that's where I was working on it. Okay. Because I do need to fix something else with this. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to show you how to optimize a design for Cricut. If you have Silhouette, you can do this yourself without having to wait on the rhinestone designer. But in most instances, the designer, you know, most designers now do this. But anyway, you don't have to wait on them. So let's grab, let me see. Yep, this is all separated. So I need to take this off first. Hopefully it won't. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to take the 70s. I've already grouped everything. So I'm going to grab just the gold 70s and I'm going to make it a compound path. And what making a compound path does, and I know I just went real quick, but I did that purposely. I'm going to slow down and show you on the next one. But I did this because what this now does is turns this 70s into one thing instead of it being all of those dots in a long list so now when you bring in 70s it's going to show as one thing in Cricut design space all because i did just that one step okay so for my own sake i'm going to turn it back to the color that it was you don't have to necessarily do that but i'm going to do that now let's grab this color red that i did for light cyan Oh, you got a new HTV run. Congratulations, Miss Lena. You sure did. I saw that on your thing. Congratulations. Hello. Yas, honey. Yas. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, so now let's grab this red. I've already grouped it as a group. Okay. I've already done that. So now I'm pretty much just optimizing it now for you guys. And I'm going to go put it on the website as soon as I'm done. So let's click on this red, the red stripe. I've already grouped it. So now I'm just going to right click on it and pull up this menu. And then I'm going to grab make compound path. I don't want to release it. I want to make it. I want to make it into something that Cricut can handle it. So instead of calling this make compound path, it needs to be make Cricut path so that it'll be for the Cricut. And boom. It's it's done. Now, when this stripe goes over into Cricut, it's going to be one thing. It's not going to be all of those dots that are red, okay? Um, so, again, you don't have to change this back to the color that you want it to be. It's just helpful. It's a helpful visual reminder. Um, you don't have to because these are all made into a compound path in their own individual, individual pieces. So, when you bring it over into Cricut, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So now let's grab this dark orange one and I'm going to do the same thing. What did I say I was going to do? The first thing you want to do after you click on it and select it, you want to right click it and make compound path. It's done. Now you can change the color if you want to. The colors are up here. 
You can click the first one. That's the fill color. And then the second one is the outline color. It's up to you how you want to do that. Um, so say, for instance, I didn't group this. Okay. So I'm going to ungroup it. And see how it's all individual dots now. So say, for instance, you get a template and it's like that. The, the colors aren't grouped together. It's just colors all over the place. To select this, because otherwise you'd have to do this and you're selecting too many other things, you can go to edit up in the menu up top. You can go edit, select by color. And then you can click on the color that you want to group. Because in order to make it a compound path, you have to group it. So now we're going to group it. And now that it's grouped together, right click on the color, make compound path. Okay. So hopefully you understood that. We're going to do it again because I got to do all of these. So now I'm going to click on the yellow. It's already grouped together. I don't have to do anything other than right click, make compound path. Okay, so that was yellow. And now let's grab this green, make compound path. Now this is strictly showing you how to optimize a design for Cricut. So the only color that's left that I did not do is the word baby. And see, notice baby, I only have this letter B. I don't, it's not grouped. So I'm gonna come up here to this list. Actually, you go edit, select by color, click on the black. So now the black color is only selected, and I'm going to click on group. Now that that's group, I'm going to click on it, make compound path. Baby goes away. I'm going to turn it black again. And now this is an optimized design for Cricut. So even if I don't, what like I'm grabbing it now and it's all in each individual pieces, I'm going to hit group again just so that when it comes into Cricut, it'll come in all together, but it should come in all together anyway, whether I do that or not. All right. And so now I'm going to save the selection, save it to my hard drive, and I'm going to do 70s for Cricut. And then I'm going to hit OK. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm going to do SVG. I'm going to make it an SVG file. See that down here? You click that, the drop down, select SVG, and now I'm going to hit OK. And so now this has an optimized version for you Cricut users. Okay? So hopefully you understood that. Hopefully that's helpful for those who have Cricut and you've been struggling all this time trying to get your designs to upload and they take it forever and they're not coming in right, blah, 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 blah. So now um, you should be able to go into Cricut. I'm going to go over a couple of minutes just to show you this. Where did Cricut go? I just clicked on it. Oh, it's right here. Why is it saying installing? Y'all tripping. I just had you open. Why are you installing anything? See, this is the type of stuff that make me go overtime. It ain't got nothing to do with me. All right, so here's Cricut. Let me drag this over. So you remember, we just did the optimizing, right? So let's go upload. Upload image. Browse. And now let's grab the one that says for Cricut. So if you click on the one that says for Cricut and click open, Remember before it was like, wow, that's a large file. This may take, notice it didn't say none of that. It just popped up. It's right here. So now let's click upload. It's going to pop right in. Select it, add the canvas, and here we go. Boom. And look, it even came in at the right size. How ironic is that? Why? Because it's optimized for Cricut. But just to be on the safe side, you still want to double check your size, which you remember it was 9.33 high anyway. So this is right. And now look at this list. No long list of dots anymore. Now you're looking at each optimized piece that we did when we made it a compound path. That's what we mean when we say optimize for Cricut. Okay. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's show. 
Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I felt red. I felt nostalgic. I needed to go back. I saw a design. I saw the stripes. Anyway, I saw these color stripes and I was like, how dope would it be to say 70s baby in front of that? Because that took me back to my roller skate at the skate palace days, playing outside, riding my bike with the banana seat, having a good time, just living life as a young girl, you know, born in 76. So granted, I was eh, four when the 80s hit, but I'm just saying, you know, 70s carried over into the 80s for quite a while. And so it's just, it's, it warms me in my heart. And I felt like I needed a design that I could wear. So because I was feeling nostalgic, I'd made a design um, to put on a shirt to share with you guys. And then I was like, how even cooler would it be to make the shirt like an actual retro shirt? So that's what we did. We fringed the shirt down here at the bottom. I'm going to add some beads to it at some point in time and make it super cute, something for me to wear and have fun in the summer. And then I used Arm Dorado for the 70s. I did like cyan for the red, tangerine for the orange, coffee in the middle for the middle stripe, green zircon, and then citrine. And then the word baby is crystal AB. All right. Um, we are going to be working on a couple of other projects here coming up. I've already told you guys about the Capri Sun pouch and another in the hoop project. And I'll be linking all of that stuff in the supplies go with it in the Facebook group and here on YouTube, because I'm not sure exactly where we're going to do it. But even if the projects wind up on a Zoom, for instance, the information for the Zoom will be here on YouTube in a link for you to click. Okay. So aside from that, I had a ball. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We love to bling around here. So definitely go check out and grab your bling for your 70s shirt over at highfixfix.store. The buy-in is over. It's not going on right now, but the next one will be coming up soon on the 29th of February. So make plans to grab your bling so that you can sling some bling 70s style. All right. So thank y'all for hanging out with us this evening. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you all the next time. So until the next time we see you, we hope you <laughs> stay groovy. <laughs> Have a good night, y'all. Bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, we can't go nowhere. We can't go nowhere. We can't go nowhere. Hold on, hold on. One more thing. Because I said I was going to do it. Oh, I cannot believe I almost forgot. She going to kill me dead, y'all. Hold on. Oh, that was a cute baby. Somebody just posted their baby. Hold on, one more storage. Where is it? Because she also met, did this to me. Where did you put it, Sheila? I don't see it. I don't know. Too long. I didn't see it. Oh, you know where I can find it? I'm going to find it right here. So you didn't even have to post it. Holler. Let me show you what Sheila did. This was the other thing that kind of got me to wanting to show you guys storage and stuff. Sheila showed me her project that she did that I thought was super cute. Let me share screen, present, share screen, entire screen, boom. Look at this, you guys. So she made, you know how I do my candy trays? She got some clear acrylic discs. See, it's got the hole in it, even though she punched holes in hers herself. But you can get these off of Amazon. Clear acrylic discs and she put her bling on the disc how dope is that so instead of a big even though my the candy trays aren't big but instead of a decent sized little candy tray she has the little disc and you can just lay that little disc on fabric or something and show people what that color is gonna look like isn't that super cute how cute is that and it's portable see look how small it is because this is one of those binder rings and she put jump rings on there to attach them to the binder ring. How cute is that? Uh, Gail, the, no, I got to upload the file. I got to upload it. I just converted it, but I, I have not uploaded it to the store. So give me about 15 minutes and it'll be uploaded to the store. It'll be a zip file. When it's a zip file, you'll know it's ready. Right now it's an SVG. So when you see a zip file, you'll know that's where it, that's, it's optimized. All right, so just want to show you guys that 
now we can head out with some sensualization. You guys have a great night, and I look forward to seeing you all again on the next Baby's Booty episode next Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye. How would you define luxury? Your purchase of our rhinestones has put extravagance right at your fingertips. Here at the Baby's Booty, we are taking the standard of luxury and bringing it directly to you. Introducing the perfect companion to your Lux rhinestones, the Baby's Booty Ice Boxes. Our ice boxes are in the perfect sizes to complement your order. Each color in your purchase will be labeled and packaged in these elegant acrylic boxes ready to display your luxury stones for everyone to see. The Baby's Booty Ice Box, where our bling is the finer thing. <laughs>